Welcome to another Barker Gaming Commentary video. In this video, I'll be talking about the next generation NVIDIA and AMD graphics card, as well as we'll, I'll be discussing about the NVIDIA graphics card blowing up when using certain workload. So, let's first talk about the next generation NVIDIA graphics card. Right now, the internet is saying that the next generation graphics card called Lovelace. And from what I read, yes, it is going to give us improvement from the Ampere, aka the 30 series. However, I am quite skeptical that we will get more value from this new GPU lineup. As well, I think NVIDIA will bring back the Titan lineup and on top of the current 1500 USD MSRP for the what I believe will be the 4090 and then they bring the 30 Titan lineup and push it to 2000 US MSRP all the way up to 3000 US dollar MSRP what the what is it that supports my theory well in the N NVIDIA previous history NVIDIA has launched a Titan Volta for 3000 US MSRP and guess what people bought it that up Titan V for gaming so obviously Nvidia knows there are a market for 3000 US MSRP graphics card and top of what the 30 series card has shown us people are willing to blindly part way with their money and spend absurd amount of money for a graphics card how it so this is so this just prove proves my point nvidia just gonna cater towards these mega whales and whales who are willing to spend 1500 us plus on a crazy graphics card and then for us mid to low end gamers we are still going to get the same shit and probably as the 30 series going to even be costing even more so what and we end up well buying second hand and as yeah Nvidia does not care about us anymore and Nvidia just going to cater towards the mega whales and the whales and just disregard the rest of the other piece the graphics card market as well they don't well they don't well the low to mid range card market well they aren't making enough money they can compensate that with the mega whales and the whales that are paying way too much are just literally paying well way too much for the graphics card in my opinion now let's first now let's talk about the nvidia card blowing up when doing certain workload again from what i read um the card the nvidia card fails due to has a has this issue where it certain some of the phases doesn't notice the constant peaking of a power draw and when the, the this workload constantly just keeps the power spike and the face and the VRM just does not notice it this kind of um, best case scenario the you have graphics card with protective capacitors the capacitor detects the over volt the capacitor sees it shut pops it shuts off the card shuts off the system there you go your graphics card then nice and safe but however some people are pile cycling it which gets around the capacitor protection and in certain cases the capacitors get damaged and unable to shut off the card and unable to shut off the system as a result of this well that since the vrm doesn't detect the power peaking it just lets the power through to the whole graphics card and well here we go we have the fried rtx 30 series cards this is well basically a nvidia being nvidia again they have all this function on their card all these vrm functions on the card and they just do not use those power protection in the vrm 
Okay, now let's talk about AMD's next generation GPU rumored. Again, the internet calls it the RDNA 3. And this will be AMD's architecture to where it fully embraces ray tracing and fidelity FX with dedicated silicon and potentially, I hope, matches and maybe sometime even beat NVIDIA's proprietary RTX and DLSS as I I the open standard to beat and a fucking proprietary standard. Again, this will be, from what I read, this will be a performance upgrade from the last generation 7000 series as we currently get. But then again, AMD will push up the higher prices again as they can clearly saw that people are willing to pay, well, more for compromised graphics card, okay? You can go out and buy a 798 XT, that still has compromises. It still restricts you in the GPU core and memory clock speed you can overclock. You had to go get some fucking modded BIOS and to like, or just override it so that you can even clock it beyond the AMD OC software for any of the AIBs and the AMD Watman. So basically, yeah, they're kind of, they're not a good guy here as well. So in conclusion, for me, both camp AMD and NVIDIA has learnt from the 330 series and the 60, 6000 series card. People are willing to pay absorbent amount of price for their products and those products just flies off the shelf and this results in well us low to mid-range buyers well we get completely disregarded and what is going to happen is when our old parts die we're either going to buy a second hand card second hand parts or just stop outright participating in this crazy pc market that has obviously gone out of control I hope this video has made you, as a viewer, aware of this crazy nonsense that both of these, AMD and NVIDIA, are trying to normalize these sky-high prices and they want you to be conditioning, be like, this is the new norm. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe for more video. If you want to help me grow this channel and make this well, be able to upload more frequently. Um, share my videos. Get Help me make some sort of return on this. As well, for this video specifically, I was up like till 1am. And then I th and then I slept for like probably 5 hours. And then immediately woke up. And then redid, and then did this. And then made, redid my script to ensure, well, I give you the best quality script video I can think of and I'll see you in the next video.